big guy, big like chief from uh, Cuckoo. Yeah, he's at the woo woo. So Cuckoo I get woo-woo. through, and this this white lady's like. You know, she's like pushing people through, all right, all right, but she's having one of these conversations with her employees while getting people through, and she's annoying. She's like, that bitch told me about, like, she's kind of, she's trash. Uh-huh. She's like a little white trash. Sure. So I'm getting the woo-woo, and then uh, she's like, this fucking bitch told me. I told that bitch I'll kill her. I'll cut her up, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, oh, up, 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 up. She sees the the, the screen, and she goes, up, oh, up. Oh. Well, got She's got to pat you down. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Let's just do this. And I look at the screen, and it's all right here. It's all in the uh, herpy area. You can see the screen? I look at the screen every time. I want to know where I'm glowing. Where's the screen? It's I don't right even know behind the you. screen. It's up on the woo-woo, but you walk out of the woo-woo and pass it. I look back. I oh. want to know where I'm I at. I don't go through the woo-woo because I'm pre-checked. Ah, I got to get pre-checked because I'm, I'm having real woo-woo issues. Yeah, you got a bad woo-woo, and uh, you got to don't poo-poo the TSA. Yeah, yeah, well... I don't know what to do, do, but uh, I get out of there, and she goes, uh, whoop, 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 he's going to have to pat you down, and this big guy's like, sorry, man, like, I got to go in this area, and I, I do my old joke, I go, well, careful, I got a huge penis, Yeah. and then she goes, what the fuck, why would you ever say that, that shit ain't funny, you got to stop playing, you got to stop playing, and I was like, oh, I don't have a, I don't have a big penis, <laughs> I, like, I totally backed up, I was like, I'm just joking, I'm joking, I have a small penis. And the guy's putting the gloves on. He's like, ugh. And I'm like, dude, it was a joke. I'm sorry. I forgot you can't make jokes at an airport. Small penis. No circumcised. And he goes, Reggie. And it, this, the gayest man on the planet. 18 earrings. He's got the fucking whole getup on. 20 bracelets. Uh, shaved head with blo- the peroxide blonde. Peroxide? That's what they they dye the peroxide to get it super white. Like that hydrogen white. peroxide. I think that's what they use to. Yeah, you, they that's how you get that really? white hair. Yeah. They it's get, all like foamy. They get all the color out. No, no, they just get the color out. He's he's, he's bleach blonde. Oh wow. Okay. So he goes, huh? <laughs> I was like, what's this? What's going on here? I mean, he turned like a velociraptor, like. You know, and uh, he was doing something over there, and they were like, Reggie, you got to come check this guy out. I'm like, what? This is the procedure? You're scared uh, to go downtown on me, so you're getting the gay guy for safety? Because he's he's cool with dicks. This guy's not cool with dicks. Yeah, it feels weird. It's like if a woman was getting uh, frisked, and they were like, hey, Bill, come over here. Oh, like it should be. Yes. It should be someone, you know, it's someone who doesn't like dicks. Right. Yeah. But they their mentality was he's good with dicks. <laughs> he should get in there. But I would argue we're all good with dicks. Just our dick. Yeah. I mean, a dick's not hard. You just kind of move it to the yeah. side if you're checking underneath. But he better not be too good or he's going to be seeing your goo goo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to shoot some goo goo on him. But. Uh, so he's like, mm. so he puts all his shit on, you know, he's got 28 gloves and bracelets and he comes over and he's like, woo, baby, you know, he's, he's making a meal out of this. And the, the big fat, uh, Hispanic guy looks at me, he's like, sorry, man, sorry, man. And this white lady's just like, you fucked up now, you fuck. And it's almost like a weird punishment. They, they bring in this Reggie guy to, to really... To show you, like, hey, you fucked up. This is like prison. I don't know. That, that, this kind of, what kind of operation are they running? I'm in Oz over here. The guy bent me over. I dropped the soap. He had his way with me. Assumed the position. It was the wild. I'm like, it's eight in the morning. I'm getting felt up by the gayest man on the planet. This this white lady's yelling at me. The uh, Hispanic guy's like saying sorry, and she keeps going. Like he's feeling me up hardcore. And he's put on he put on rain and men like put music on like he he really brought the house down. What airport is this? <laughs> Newark. I gotta get a ticket. I mean, this yeah. sounds like a I delight. Mean, if you want to get off, go to Newark and talk about your dick, and they will woo woo your ass all day long. Oh my but, god! But then the security or the uh, the, the the head lady. What do you call her? The the superior. <laughs> he was the head man. But what do you call that lady? You know the the boss, the supervisor. Supervisor, yes. She comes up with a clipboard, and because we're getting, we got a fucking Orlando nightclub over here, and then we got the white lady carroning and yelling, and then the Hispanic guy's going, oh, oi, oi, boys, Dios, or whatever, uh, Cayavon, Dios, whatever he's saying. And so the supervisor comes over and goes, what is going on over here? And the, the blonde lady goes, this motherfucker's making jokes. He's making bad jokes. He's inappropriate. And she goes, hey, shut up. 
And I was like, yeah! Wow. And then I get finally done. I pull my pants up. I'm bleeding. We sop it up. And then I, I walk away, and I'm like putting my shit on. Like, geez, I feel violated. And the uh, Hispanic guy walks over and goes, sorry about that, man. And then I left. Well, a lot of nice apologies. 